Hey everyone, we're doing some skirmishes because Galactic Conquest decided not to work. So we have, uh... We have mod maps here. We have a lot of mod maps. And, well, the, uh, official maps are don't use. According to the uh, name here. And mod maps are... Oh, hey, look, it's Awesome Face. That's pretty cool how they did that. So, we have quite some to choose from, it looks like, and, uh, we're doing a, uh, you know, let's do a two-on-two. Two. Medium, medium, let's just put them all on medium, just because I don't know how easy or aggressive the, uh, they are. Republic, let's, let's be Imperial. Remnant, yeah. I think that's the best because the uh, Empire of the Hand, I do not know how to either use or what the units do, so. I think if I be an Empire, it'll be a bit more straightforward. Alright, so let's pick up a map. Uh, sure, let's. No, that's a three way. Let's do the Void. Alright, 8,000 credits, destroy enemy space station, let's do it. Space battle at the mall. No new historical reference. Let's do this. If I can actually click begin. <laughs> Alright, what is this? It's a capital shipyard, alright. This is a... That's a Golan 3 right there. It's tech up. Where's the mining facility? Hmm. Well, let's just go for that. Anyone? No, let's go for the center. There seems to be a pirate station there. Let's go get that. And a Golon 1. What about that, huh? What the hell are you? Turfiner 8. What? Turfiner in the 801st. Or. 181st were one of the most feared starfighter units in the galaxy. They were the Empire's equivalent of the Rebellion and New Republic's Rogue Squadron. Tour Finier would later go on to the Supreme Commander, C Commander of the Confederacy Forces in the Second Galactic Civil War. Nice. And we have Niles Freener. Freener. A ship thief who was temporarily in the employ of Grand Admiral Thrawn. Specific! Very specific. Yeah, that's a HUD asteroid station. Alright, tech up. Hoo hoo hoo! Baby! Venator Star Destroyer. That sounds familiar. Victory 2. Let's buy me one of those. What is this? That looks like a K Wing. Oh, Preybird. Right. What the hell are you? Are you Jason Solo? Hey, I can buy Thrawn. What the hell? I I thought I was... Mm. Nice black hole, bro. We need money. We need money bad. <sighs> AI, what are you doing? Stupid AI. No, well, that's the... I'm trying to get the money thing up. No, that's R. That's... Hmm. There we go, now we captured it. Oh man, I love Golons. So yeah. Got nothing much really to do. Mostly but Are those two Jason Solos? Hmm. Oh hey, you're building shit right outside. How can I see stuff now? That is go huh? If I wanted to, I could just walk up to their front door and just say hi with a bunch of Star Destroyers. Well, then again... Hmm. Oh, hey, heroes, huh? You actually want to do something now? Well, they actually do want to do something now. And they just warped in... What? Okay. 
I have relatively minimal uh, reinforcements simply because I have nothing really to buy. I can't buy anything. Oh my god, there goes a uh, facility here. Relatively intense battle, I must say. From the AI, anyways. Let's go ahead and attack that hero. Ah, oh, Talon card, huh? Oh my. We're shooting that Talon card, huh? Nice, and he, it even has the, his little, uh, frigate thing. Frigate, uh, ship guy. Ah, <sighs> man. Is that Jason Solo? No, that's uh, someone I can't even pronounce. Okay, so is there... No, oh, that, that is... Ah, oh, hey, the AI is teching. Alright. Can I even... There, I, I can hunt with the... What is going on? Hmm. Ah, oh, crap. I need that space station, damn it. Oh, this is an interesting take on skirmishes, I must say. I mean, you, you can just warp in er anything everywhere. Not bad. I like it. I like it. Good thing I figured it out before I went to multiplayer. Did some games with my oh-so-desperate friends. Oh, that is a Howl Runner. I was wondering. And the TIE Fighters are destroying those X-Wings. And I do have reinforcements. And this Victory 2 is living up to its name. Hey, look, it's a B-2 Nebulon. Not. Huh? Is that Garm? Garm Bell Imbliss? In a. Oh, that's an MC 80 wingless. That is Garm! <laughs> uh, that is funny. That is just funny. <laughs> I can't explain why. That is just funny seeing Garm in space. Oh, man, it would be nice if I got some money, you know? You know what, how about... Ready for battle. We go down here, hmm? How about that? For how about that? Ah, oh, hey, it's a Marauder, huh? Hey, it actually has a name now. That's pretty cool. It's a shame this thing is getting freaking owned. Wait, hold on. Hold the phone. Are you using the same... Damn it, dude. Damn it, Victory Cruiser. We're in attack position. Are they using the same thing as Rogue Squadron? It looks like it. Just a quick glimpse. No way. Ha <laughs> ha, draw us both. Nice. And Palon, alright, alright. And we are at Tech 3. Tecton... Tektor Star Destroyer uh, is stronger version than the standard Imperial class Star Destroyer, replacing its hangar with additional weapons and armor. In addition, the reactor bulge is covered in armor for a, for a decrease in vulnerability. Imperial Star Destroyer, Venator, Strike. All right, that makes a return. Imperial Two Star Destroyer, even better. And I bet our heroes are just going to be flying really powerful things, huh? Joris of both was an insane clone body of a former Jedi Master. He is used by at, by Grand Admiral Thrawn to increase the effecti eff effectiveness of cloaked ships and allow for simultaneous attacks across large distance and space 
he commands a Kara cruiser. Wow. Ready for duty. All all that money just for a Kara cruiser, huh? All that just for a Kara cruiser, really. That's a mining facility. We need money. I wouldn't be surprised if my AI buddy had less money than I did. Well then again, he did tech up, so... Anything's possible. I'm surprised this... Uh, what the hell are you shooting at now? Hmm. Oh, whatever. They are still going at it over here, and hey, they just pulled in Thrawn. Thrawn, do you still get command of your little... Yeah, it seems so. What the hell are you? Majestic. State-of-the-art new class... What? Starship with no, no, no notable weaknesses capable of effectively engaging the heaviest ships at extreme range. The Majestic's exceptionally resilient armor and shields are comparable to that of an Imperial Star Destroyer. Ha ha. Interdestin. And that asteroid mining facility is almost done. If not is now. Man, they take a while to build. I well, you know, I'll just leave that thing to die. What do I get here? I get missiles, lasers, and repairs, huh? All right, sure. Oh, hey, look, it's home one. What? Oh, that's an MC80. <laughs> that's an MC80 that Akbar used. Capital ship, yeah, excellent fleet commander, able to direct. F yeah. <laughs> ah, he's not using... What the hell are they shooting at? There's nothing there. And look at that, they're getting... <laughs> wow. Ah, there goes Garm. Man. Why are they sending, sending in capitals to the center? There's asteroids all around. Well, now we're actually getting some money. I'm leaving my AI buddy to do everything for me. Copy. Open fire. <laughs> wow, that Nebulon is...